Oh, you ready? Yeah. Go. Go now. You got him, dude. Got him. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Let's go. That thing is giant. Welcome back to Bramfish. Hope you're all doing great today. Uh, we're back at the gar spot. We've been fishing for maybe 10, 15 minutes down at our old honey hole. We just spotted a giant gar. This thing is probably two feet long. Parker's on it right now. This is gonna be Parker's first gar and it's gonna be huge. It might actually shatter my PP. All right, when I say go Parker, you're gonna to want to- Reel it in as fast as I can. Reel in and like set the hook. You ready? Yeah. Go, go now. You got him, you got him, dude. Oh yeah, let's go. Come and get ready. Here, battle them out. Get them out of that weeds. Get them out of the weeds. Hey, this thing is strong. Hold up, I think he's hung. I think he's hung in the weeds. Yeah, try to try to go ahead and net him. That thing is giant. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Sick netting, netting skills. Right? Yes, good job, <laughs> Coleman. Nice. Holy oh, crap, dude. Dude. dude, that thing is humongous. That is huge. Congratulations, man. Oh, look at the fish. The is fish is alive. Yeah. Let's get a close up right here. Oh, God. Yes, You're fixing to get a close up of me losing my fingers. Dude, that thing's teeth, though. I know. That's, we're just gonna that cut That is the line. like a dinosaur fish. Yeah, though. it is, man. These are living dinosaurs. All right, guys, so we're just cutting the All hook right. or cutting the line. So he did swallow it. It's not in his gills, though. It's just sort of on his tongue. And the good thing about these hooks, they rust super quick. So within probably a week, this hook will be gone. How do you feel right now? Dude, that thing, that's the biggest dinosaur fish i've ever seen what size do you wear I, a nine i have a small foot i wear 11 and a half that thing's more than two of my feet look at right the next. gut i don't know maybe dude you want to take a picture with that you no, got to take a picture i don't want to hold it dude you got to hold on, it on. it's Watch. gonna kill me it might all right buddy see you later this poor shiner dude, what happened to him? his face is going good job parker let's hope we can catch about i don't know 10 more like that today we're gonna get rebaited, re-rigged, all that good stuff, and get back after it. A few moments later. All right, you ready? Here, get the get the sick hook set, bro. bro. Oh shoot! Dang, he's way over here. Shoot, dude! Big, big, big guy. Where is he? Oh, dude. He's big. Oh, oh my! God. Did you get that? Yeah. Let's go. He's big boy. Yes. Yo. yes, man. Oh, dude, something just got in my mouth. <laughs> dude, that thing's big, too. Open up. Let's get into something. Light. Oh. All right, guys, so that is my first gar of the day. Not my biggest gar ever, but this one's probably, I don't know, three, four pounds. Not as big as Parker's either, but I mean, still a great fish. Let's see if we can get it to open its mouth. Open sesame. If you've never caught gar before, I totally recommend y'all trying to go out and do it. They're strong. They are prehistoric. I mean, they've got like literal armored plating for scales. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> this is where I get bit right here. Maybe not by the gar, but by a snake. All right. Oh. I guess that's one way to release a gar. Check that out. Y'all want some gar slime? A lot bigger size than we've caught the past two times we were here gar wise. Let's see if we can get another one. What's up? So it is, oh my gosh. I've got the hiccups really, really bad. I've got the hiccups really bad right now. So I can't even talk. It is currently five o'clock and unfortunately we had to leave the gar fishing spot. Before this video ends, I want to sort of tell y'all how to catch gar if you don't know already. In my opinion, the best way to catch gar and the most fun way to catch gar is to sight fish for them like we did with Parker's gar. You get either a piece of dead bait or a live shiner like we did in this video, or you can get a gar lure, which I'll throw up right now, and you just sort of walk along the banks and spot them. You usually try to throw in front of them. So you sort of lay it out in front of them, throw it right there. And gar are so aggressive, they will just attack it. You know what I mean? Now for gear, I like to use pretty, you know, sturdy rod, a good quality reel that's got enough drag to battle a big fish if you do hook into a giant because a big gar will whoop you if you don't have a good reel. And then braid. I love fishing with braid because gar have super hard mouths. The inside of their mouths are about like the rest of them, just super 
tough. And with braid, you set that hook, there's no line stretch or anything like that that you might get with mono or fluorocarbon, and you can stick it to them. And as far as hooks go, I like a treble hook, just like that right there. And the reason I like the treble hook so much is that it gives you three chances instead of one at hooking that guard. And then you know you've got the three different ways of fishing with live or dead bait. You've got the bottom rig, which is what this is right now. I've only got a little split shot on there, but depending on where you're fishing, you might need more than just a split shot especially if you're in a place that's got a little more current than what we were fishing in today take the split shot off and all you got is a hook and line and that's free lining. Free lining is probably one of my favorite ways to do live bait. If you have shiners, baby bluegill, or some sort of other minnow, I love to free line them and sight cast for guard that way. And then last but not least, you've got the floating method. If you're gonna fish with a float, I always tend to put the cork not very far above where my bait's gonna be. Guard tend to come up to the surface quite a bit. So if I'm fishing with a float, I like to have my bait dangling right where their eyes are gonna be as they're coming up or as they're cruising along the top. So most of the time, if I'm fishing with a cork, I don't go above like probably eight inches. And that's pretty much it for tips and tricks on gar fishing. And for as far as where you're gonna catch gar, especially down here in the south, they're in pretty much every waterway you can find. Lakes, streams, ponds, rivers, ditches. And guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. I really hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please remember to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and leave me a comment down in the comment section. I hope every single one of you are happy a great and fantastic day and I will be seeing you later.